And welcome back, folks. Today we take a closer look at the Old World Irving Elementary School in Duluth, Minnesota, supposedly built in 1895. And reading from Duluth's Grand Old Architecture, 1870 to 1940, by Tony Dierkins and Mary Ann C. Norton. As the village of West Duluth grew in the early 1890s, Winota and Longfellow schools became crowded. A small wooden school named for the author Washington Irving was erected in 1891, but it did little to take the pressure off its neighboring institutes. In 1894, ground was broken for a new Irving school. And when it opened the following year, the Duluth News Tribune called it, quote, the pride and joy of West Duluth. The building was one of the first designed by Palmer Hall and Hunt after draftsman William Hunt was made partner. The two-story T-shaped Renaissance Revival building has a raised basement slash foundation of rough hewn Lake Superior brownstone, while the rest of the building is faced with a cream-colored pressed brick trimmed with buff-colored sandstone. Its main southern facade features five distinct bays, with the outer bays protruding like wings. Its main entrance is marked by three large Roman arches. Directly above the main entrance, circular bullseye windows rest above four Roman arch windows along the second floor. They are in turn flanked by two more arched windows whose surrounding brickwork emulates rusticated panels. Low intersecting pitched roofs cap the building. It was the first Duluth Elementary School to include an assembly hall, establishing a model for schools throughout Minnesota. The principal's office was outfitted with a fire alarm that sounded in each room. The attic was called a, quote, foul air chamber and worked as part of the building's ventilation system. The building was outfitted with oak woodwork, marble drinking fountains, and toilets that flushed, quote, automatically. Local newspapers praised the building as the, quote, best looking and mostly completely arranged school building in the state. And these vents must be something special, hence they are labeled on the building itself and in the literature multiple times. And now some of them are blocked and one of them has this on it. I wonder if they all originally had those. Irving Elementary School closed in 1982. In the early 1990s, the building was converted into 44 apartments. In 1904, beloved Irving principal Laura Kennedy died unexpectedly. The next year, a commemorative stained glass window was installed near the school's entrance to celebrate her life of, quote, self-denial and kindly sympathy to all about her, end quote. The 4 by 12 foot window is a reproduction of Abbott Thayer's Caritas, a painting of a winged woman whose outstretched arms protectively hover over two naked children, a girl and a boy. The Duluth News Tribune said it represented, quote, the highest type of American womanhood. Just look at this ironwork, wow. And what do these symbols even have to do with 1890s public education in the United States? Now this is wild, folks. First of all, how long would this take to make? Second of all, have you ever seen a griffin fish? Congratulations, now we both have. For some reason, I can't stop thinking about reading, writing, and arithmetic. Don't forget, she was built in a year with good old horse and wagons.
and I wanted to pull away to point out to you, the viewer, how similar this structure is to the old Duluth State Normal School. And she was also supposedly built just one year with the same architects, Palmer, Hall, and Hunt. And from this view, this structure definitely reminds me of Jefferson Elementary in Duluth, Minnesota. Apparently it was essential in 1894 to have this large of a smokestack on your elementary school. Well, I'll tell you one thing, this is a gigantic structure. And this narrative is quite hard to swallow for me, actually. One year build time for all of this in 1894 with horse and wagon. And they tell us they had all sorts of ahead of their time technology for 1894, such as fire alarm technology, automatic flushing toilets technology. And then they had a foul air chamber, whatever that means. Uh, a female principal in 1905, was that commonplace? And what do you folks think? Was this giant structure with all its detail and heavy materials really built with a horse and buggy in 1894? Please leave your comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. And please like, share, and subscribe.